Hello everybody and welcome to today's video. So today we have a very exciting video. As you can see, I've got my laptop out. I have a tweet from Pokemon Go app about a new shiny legendary that will be coming. Ho-Oh and Lugia will now be met with shiny Kyogre. Yes, Kyogre will be a shiny Pokemon now. So the official, let me set you down real quick so that I can read this. The official release on, let me see real quick. The official release on PokemonGoLive.com says, Trainers, it's time to make a splash. Our water festival will return June 7th at 1 p.m. PDT, 3 p.m. my time, with water type Pokemon such as Magikarp and Whelmer, which are both shiny, by the way, appearing more frequently in the wild. Some lucky trainers may even encounter a rare, shiny Shelder the very first time during the event. Shelders are pretty rare, generally speaking. Plus, enjoy field tasks highlighting water-type Pokemon until June 21st at 1 PDT. My hair is all over the place. I didn't have time to take care of that because we've got news that's... Oops. Yep. Camera got excited and it fell over. Because we've got a little more exciting news than messy hair don't care kind of thing alongside increased appearance of water type pokemon appearing all over the world you'll be able to earn three times three times stardust for catching water type pokemon plus two kilometer eggs there is a train behind me let me get through this before he starts going off too much plus two kilometer eggs will hatch exciting pokemon such as totodile mudkip and corefish and you will learn double candies Yes, you guys heard right. Double candies for every egg that you hatch. So those 10Ks you've been saving up, I know I've been saving up a few. This is the perfect time to hatch those. Double candies, you can get your rare mons, get some more of those. Hopefully, get enough Beldum candies in my case. Metagross might be coming soon. I'm still a little ways away from that one. Um, wind's blowing a little bit, so I apologize in advance if uh, audio's a little fuzzy. Anyways, I'm getting sidetracked. Raid battles will also, here's the exciting part, here's a part that you can see the, um, the title of the video is highlighting this exact thing and I'm all over the place because you're leaning on a computer right now. Raid battles will also feature powerful water type Pokemon for the duration of the celebration including the exciting return of the legendary Pokemon Kyogre. I don't know if I've uploaded this yet but I did max out a Kyogre so if that's not on the channel yet it will be and we'll be doing some Kyogre raids too. And if you challenge Kyogre during the event and come out victorious, there is a chance... Hold on, let me look right at you. There is a chance that you will encounter its shiny form. Yes. We have another shiny, like I said a second ago, we have another shiny legendary that is coming to Pokemon Go. We're up in the ETB shirt. We will be hitting some of these in Marshall. Maybe even on ETBU campus on the 18th. We'll have to see. But for sure, we will be hitting some Kyogre raids and trying to get... That shiny Kyogre. We got a shiny ho -Oh. You guys don't know about that yet. That video's coming. We got a shiny Kyogre the other day. And uh, didn't record the raid or anything because, you know, I didn't think about it. But, might have to use that in some battles. And if we get a shiny Kyogre, I might have to do... Who knows? Shiny ho -Oh versus shiny Kyogre raids? That might be coming. We might be using shiny Kyogre in battle to see how it looks. Now, back to the initial thing. So trainers, dive in. Dive on in this water-focused event before it ends on June 21st. So this event is great for a number of reasons. Number one, first and foremost, shiny legendaries. I mean, we all are hunting shinies, or most of us are. And I guarantee you, everybody who usually hunts shinies will be going nuts for this shiny Kyogre. I know I'm going to be doing quite a few of them. I'm very excited about this. Second big thing, Magikarp and Whelmer. Magikarp especially is a big one. Because for your Mew quest, I know a lot of people haven't been able to complete that yet. Hey, my shoe popped. A lot of people haven't been able to complete that yet. And uh, with, the, uh, with the Magikarps that are going to be spawning more frequently, that means that you will have the ability to rack up those Magikarp candies finally evolve your Gyarados in stage 6 and get that Mew added to your squad. Very exciting for quite a few people. I know that's been one of the big things that's been tying a lot of people up with getting their Mew. Also, 
and I don't I don't know if I mentioned this Shelder will also be shiny Shelder and Cloister will be appearing shiny in the wild because you'll have a chance to get a rare shiny Shelder so we do have new shinies coming to the game we have Kyogre Shelder and Cloister will all be shiny during this event and thereafter You'll also be able to get a shiny Magikarp if you don't have one yet, shiny Whalmer. Those will be exciting too. I still never managed to get a Whalmer or Whalord, so I'll definitely be looking for those. Of course, stacking up the Magikarp candies for another Gary. All that fun stuff. Um, and then, you know, we've got the biggest news of all, the shiny Legendary. Oh, oh man, I can't... I can't get over that. And I know a lot of the trainers that are watching this are just going to flip when they hear this. Yes, Kyogre will appear shiny, similar to how Ho-Oh and Lugia did. We're assuming this is going to be 100% catch rate. That's not guaranteed, of course, but the last two legendaries we've had, their shiny variants did have 100% catch rate. So we're assuming this one will be 100% also. So you can go ahead, toss a pineapple at them, get those bonus candies. And if it's a high enough IV... Or you just feel like it, go ahead and max it out. And of course, you can always tweet me screenshots of your shinies at Jeff F. McCormick on Twitter or Instagram. Um, yeah, triple stardust, three new shinies, two kilometer eggs with water types, water type uh, field research. This is going to be an exciting event. And I will definitely keep you guys up to date on what I catch. As like I said, you can always check it out on Twitter or Instagram. I'll usually put a picture of whatever I catch. Including that shiny Murkrow that never made it to the channel. That's on Instagram. So, to everybody watching, to everybody who is excited for this event, thank you all for watching, for checking out the channel, supporting us. Regular videos will be coming much more frequently. Now that it's summer, I've got time, I can take care of that, I can work with that, and I don't have to worry about it. I don't have to worry about, you know, running out of time for classes and stuff. I'm taking a few online classes, but the majority, I will have some free time, which is good. Because the, the more free time I have, the more time I have to play. Wow, my voice just cracked. That's kind of weird. But the more free time I have, the more time that I can play. The more time that I can play, the more time I can edit. And the more time I can edit, the more videos you guys can watch. So it's a win, 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 win. We'll add a few more wins to that later on. So, thank you all so much for watching. Drop in the comments your thoughts on the new event, the new water type event that has been brought back to Pokemon Go after its major success last year. And as always, I will catch you in the next Pokemon Go video. Bye!